In this video, we can discuss about different types of fermenter or fermentation. Fermentation can be classified into four based on the supply of substrate, which are batch culture or batch fermentation, fed batch culture or fed batch fermentation, semi continuous fermentation, and continuous fermentation. Now coming to the first one, batch fermentation, it is also known as a closed system in which the growth medium containing substance is inoculated with the microorganism and the fermentation is proceeded without any addition of medium and growth medium is not removed until the end of fermentation process. Once started, we will add some initial culture media and remain. it will remain closed and it will continue till the completion of fermentation and we are not adding or removing any media in between the fermentation process. That is known as batch fermentation or closed system fermentation. Now, the incubation is carried out under the optimum physiological condition. It may be necessary to add acid or alkali to maintain the pH and anti-forming agent to minimize the forms. Under the optimal condition, this type of fermentation follow a growth curve which consists of there are six phases. There is a lag phase, an accelerated phase, logarithmic phase or exponential phase, declaration phase, or declaration phase, stationary phase and death phase. So these things we have already mentioned in uh, growth curve of microorganism in pharmaceutical microbiology. So we are not going in deep to these steps. Now second one. Second type of fermentation according to the addition of culture media, fed batch fermentation. In this, substrate is added in increment at different time throughout the course of fermentation and the growth media is not removed until the end of fermentation. So by doing this, we can prolong the long as well as stationary phase, log as well as stationary phase which will result in increased cell continuously or consequently uh, production of metabolites during the stationary phase increases. As it is difficult to directly measure the substrate concentration in fed batch fermentation, other indicators that correlate the correlate with the substrate consumptions are used formation of uh, organic acid production of carbon dioxide change in ph may be measured accordingly and substrate addition carried out so that is the second step fed batch fermentation third one is continuous formation fermentation a portion of culture media is removed from the bioreactor and replaced with fresh media in this lag phase and non productive phase are non productive phase are very much shortened the product output is much higher compared to the batch culture it is used for the production of alcohol but this have disadvantages the technical difficulties of handling bioreactor long culture period may lead to the contamination mutation and mechanical breakdown and last one or fourth fermentation is continuous fermentation. It's an open system in which we will remove the culture medium constantly and replace with the new fresh sterile culture media. And both the addition and removal are done at the same rate so that the working volume remain constant. Thereby we can constantly produce our the end product and we can increase the yield of fermentation process. There are two types of continuous fermentation. Homogeneously mixed bioreactors are two types. Chemostat bioreactors and turbidity bioreactor. In chemostat bioreactor, concentration of any one of the substrate is adjusted to control the cell growth and maintain the steady state. 
in case of turbidity bioreactor turbidity measurement is used to monitor the biomass concentration and fourth uh, means plug uh, plug flow bioreactor the culture solution flow through the tubular reaction vessel without back mixing now advantages of continuous fermentation is the size of bioreactor are relatively small yield of product is more consistent downtime between two successive fermentation for cleaning and preparing bioreactor for reuse is avoided in continuous fermentation and cost effective but uh, there are some disadvantages like the sterility maintenance is very difficult maintenance of same quality of culture media for all addition is difficult so these are the different type of fermentation according to the addition of culture media and fermentation is again classified to an on based on another criteria that is based on the production formation in relation to the energy metabolism uh, fermentation is classified into three type 1 type 2 and type 3 now coming to the type 1 fermentation when the product is formed directly from the primary metabolites I, which are used for the energy production and the production is due to the uh, end production of uh, fermentation is due to the result of primary metabolism the rate of product formation is directly related to the rate of substrate consumption and also to the rate of cell mass production examples of aerobic system that follow these classifications are acetic acid using gluconobacter suboxidants then single cell protein using candida utilis and strepto uh, strep streptomycin cervies and bakers is using saccharomyces cervies now type 2 fermentation the product formed is from the substrate used for the primary energy metabolism the product produced in the secondary pathway the reaction rate could be complex the product may be an intermediate not an end product of metabolic pathway it has something to do with catabolism as well as energy metabolism the production phase can be distinguished from growth phase and last one type 3 ferment this is clear uh, distinction between the primary metabolism and product formation as they as they occur at the separate time the substrate consumption and rapid growth in the phase first phase and production formation occur in the second phase so these are all about the type of ferment fermentation process so thank you for watching this video